And Bernard is a total conversion mod for EU4, and it's insane what they've managed to do. There's a host of unique mechanics and ways to play the game, so today we're going to do just that. But first, I'm going to give two explanations for who we're playing. One gameplay specific and one lore based. There's going to be timestamps so you can skip the lore if you're not up for it. The Command are a nation of hobgoblins that came from the Jade Mines. They created an empire when they spilled out into Northern Rhine and conquered the local kingdoms. It's a stratocracy, meaning powers held by skilled military leaders. This is represented with three factions, the Lion, Wolf and Boar Commands. So gameplay wise, how does this nation work? You've got the Boar, Lion and Wolf Commands, which are states that need to be managed in order to actually go to war, amongst other things. You've got some insane military bonuses, as well as missions that are dynamic and promote conquest of your immediate neighbours. However, there are disasters which, if either not avoided or carefully navigated, will detonate your nation. That is the quickest, most bare bones version I could come up with. My advice is to keep watching because this has honestly been one of the best EU4 games I've ever played. If you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe so you know there's interest in the second part. I personally would love to do this more. Right lads, welcome to EU4 and Bernard. This is one of the best mods, uh, best put together total version mods. You could definitely make the argument that it is the best put together mod. Today we are playing as the command and we're going to see if we can attempt to do as much of this beefy mission tree as possible. I'm very much looking forward to this. So first things first, I kind of want to figure out these Karashi imports because otherwise we are going to be triggering the rise of the shamans, which as you can see scales with our development. So right now we are sitting pretty at 600 development. So 531 of our own. We're actually the second greatest power in the world. That doesn't mean we're the uh, strongest though, given these debuffs. We need to make sure we have a crashy supply one, definitely crashy supply two. We have our military here, which gives us discipline, shock damage received, national manpower modifier, basically ridiculous uh, amounts of discipline. Uh, everywhere. We also uh, want to make sure that our general pips are as high as possible because our rulers are picked from our generals. Stratocracy, I've never seen that before. Right, we need to get an advisor on each of these. Let's go for prestige. Trade efficiency is going to trigger the war room. So we have these different commands, the wolf command, boar command, lion command, and we'll unlock more commands later, I believe. I have never played this command before, so this is going to be a bit of an interesting uh, experience for both of us. Also, if I turn my head this way, you can see that I have a slight flick in my hair. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep my head firmly. That shows off the head, and I don't have any way of winning this one. All right, so you want strike for Samakad. You want Jidao. Let's do a wolf command first. I need to strike for Samakad. This one, five promises there. I just need to conquer this lot. All these estates. I'm tentative to give too many because I don't know what each of these do, so I don't want to mess it up. I feel like coring is going to be... Really legitimacy goes down, but army from tradition, army tradition from battles goes up. I'm kind of thinking that's worth it. Those are some bonuses. And this is just, I think that's the underclass of people. Okay, so that could be quite useful. Almost in close. Right, and a day. Gee, what do we want to go for? I'm, I'm always a big fan of stacking discipline. In fact, aggressive expansion and war score cost seems pretty good to me. We have a bunch of vassals. Each of them gives us a slave state. <laughs> the bad guys. Around. Let's check out our capital. We have claims on this region. I think we go after that region. At the same time, as trying to sort our Karashi stuff, so we need to ally you. Okay, I think we're pretty set. You're currently in charge. I don't want that. I don't want the lion. Come on. So with these like big events, I'm going to, I'm very aware that some people like reading them, some people don't. So I'm going to leave them on screen for a second so you can pause and read. I'm going to read it either way, but if I, I might highlight some things, but from now on, I'll leave them on there so you can pause it if you want. Otherwise, if you don't want to read them, then just keep playing the video. I'll, I'll cut through them. The lion commander in charge. And if I give the lion command this, it'll give me plus 20% round of armies to make them disloyal. So later on, I'll need to do that. This is our capital. Okay. Jade rivalry meeting in Gronstadt. Right, offer the horned ogres. I think that's this lot over here. Um, here, we add a truce to them and it gives us more Karashi. We're the Azjikuma and the Yunazi. I don't know who the Yunazi are. Ah, over here. Yeah, that works. We need them to keep our mages tempered. We actually use them as like living weapons, which is mildly horrifying, but I suppose that's okay. Right, I think it's best we get cracking with these conquests. Ah. Right, so earlier mistakes haven't been corrected. Uh, let's crack on. Right, march in and get the ball born. And it's an instant stack wipe. This is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, we fulfilled another mission. Where? Oh, huh. That works. These are the ancient cities. So we need to have three of those. And then we need that province. The human subjects say that it's the oldest city in Iran. Have at least 20 infantry there. Okay. How many are there currently? So need eight more. And then nip in there and nip out. That do it? Nice. They get major penalties. Sweet. We control it. Then we get more stuff. Okay, so this is like, I like this where it's not just like, okay, you have to end the war. It's during the war. This is owned. Farm and ruin. That's a lot of problems we need to take. Marching boots, what does that do? Number of completed campaigns is at least five. So we need to do that. Crash imports is on its way. Uh, I'll ally them soon. Crash of allegiances, that'll happen immediately. And then it enables campaign. So these, so, oh, okay. So each mission tree is, like, well, these, each like branch that'll appear 
is its own like campaign. Okay, and this keeps track of your campaigns here. It's like a logistics thing. Like command armies that are unique. Mercenary companies, okay. Control the Thunderfist and Bloodsong. Where are Thunderfist? Okay, Bloodsong and Thunderfist. So control them. They need to be a subject of ours, a slave state. The drills. Okay, sweet. I'm starting, I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Then this one's build to an empire. And then we have another disaster coming later on that I know. There's a great insubordination. Where the Tiger Command, the Elephant Command, the Dragon Command are all going to rebel against us. We're going to have to fight a three-way war. As in like... I'll see it in three people. Why, why am I saying three-way? It's a lot of flavor coming out of this. Gaining manpower as we fight, which is good. There we go. Boils of war. Oh, and so have been rushing with that. Boils of war. We've taken it and may now enjoy the fruits of our labor. Its granaries have been yoked to our supply lines and its vaults will fund our future campaigns. Its people too shall labor on the fields and in our mines in service to the great command. Our rule of a Shemakan is now ironclad. So that's how we make money. <laughs> These the ancient city, so I need uh, a couple more on that front. Let's just uh, declare war on everyone. Okay, pull out of that one. Uh, to be fair, I reckon we can deal with all of this. I'm going to declare another war whilst we're here. Should be fine. I can pick off a couple of them. March in so they don't unify. Oh, stats in comparison. Uh, pretty good. Best in the world, but pretty good nonetheless. Oh, you, got, you see the little... I think they're goblins. <laughs> we're like samurai goblins. We're cool goblins. Like that. See that five, more, that five shot coming in handy. We're not like massively overpowered, but we are enough for it to be... Uh, Significant. Oh, we've passed this fort, so you guys are all useless. How many do we need to siege this down? Nine. I've just sort of declared war on a lot of different people, so it'd be good to get some of them out of the war. Um, in fact, let's just go ahead and get rid of these rebels whilst we have the superiority to. Now let's sit at war with our enemies, and this should be all but done. I don't know if we can march around them, but we can definitely do that. Hey, what's this? You want me to fire an advisor? I can do that. You want me to have manpower at least nine, and you also want me to fire it. Not that big of a deal. We need a quartermaster anyway to fulfill a mission. Grand Captain, which was the quartermaster? I don't quite remember. I would hate it if he won that. Oh, great. Of course he wins that fast and I win my siege. Uh, what is that? Highlands. It's fine. I think we can contend with that. I don't really want to. I think I'm going to go round him. Oh, you can, you can, hey, you can siege that down. I should be able to get full war score without beating his army. They're only allied. Ooh, I didn't co-belligerent you. What a mistake that was. I'm going to keep the, the truce low. Could have white pieced them a long time ago. I'm getting overwhelmed with everything that's around. Got to do with those uprisings. Were you not co either? Ah, oh, buddy. I oh, know this is a direct one. Okay, I've got to figure out what the hell's going on. This is one war. No, who are you then? Oh, you're a vassal. But why can I only take this? <laughs> do this war first, then we'll figure it out later. There's the 100% and everything. How about the coalition? Um, if I take these provinces, I can take those two as vassals. So I don't see any downside to that. These are the ancient cities. Now I just need those two provinces. Okay. So the Pike Square and call the provinces. Okay. That works. Now, what kind of vassals are you? I assume just standard vassals. Slave state vassals. Yeah, okay, sweet. Let's improve relations with both of those. Ally you to finish off that mission. All right. I think we're on top of it. I need their opinion of me to be at least 150. Reset the blood song plan. Okay, interesting. So that would put them like over here. Okay, let me stop the call process when I mess this up. So I can resettle my slave states. Interesting. And then I get their old lands. Okay, let's resettle the Thunder Fists. I want them, uh, yeah, down here. That's such a cool mechanic. And then I just get their old lands. I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not, but it was, it was cool. Okay, sweet. Saves our admin. Cool, I like having slave. Maybe you shouldn't say that. <laughs> maybe I, uh, maybe I should avoid that. <laughs> that sentence that I was saying. Prove relations with you to get the, then we get our Karashi supply up. So can I get 142? I'll we'll give you a gift, a little, little present, huh? Yeah, you like presents? You like money? Price are expensive. There we go, just want to be sure. Karashi supply imported. So, Basically, what this describes is that it's a material that neutralizes magic's effects, meaning that our magicians can be kept under wraps. Plus, least 80 or not allies. We can then break our alliance and we'll demand their subjugation. Or we can increase their trust. Probably an easy way considering our favors are rapidly increasing. So we can trade those for trust. That's Thunderfist, that's Bloodsong. You just, sir, is done. And then there's Corruption of the Lotus Court, which I think is good for us somewhere. Calm down, sir. We did it. The year is 1446, and fewer controlled promises won. Arming the conquered. No province has unrest. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but I can try. Okay, Karashi supplied two. We have supplied two. We can go up to 1,200 developments. So we're pretty safe right now. There are some developments that I'd like to do as part of the mission. We're going to supply... Wait. Five own provinces the supply depot. In the what region? Region, sure. We're also going to find ourselves a quartermaster. I'm pretty sure quartermaster is... He's a morale guy? I think he's a morale guy, isn't he? Yeah. We'll have more stuff. We'll keep the truce going because uh, we're going to subjugate them anyway. There you go. There's a quartermaster. Allows us to then secure logistics. Now we need five provinces with supply depots in the region Shamkad. I'm pretty sure that's just the entire thing. Okay, here. 
So if I go here, click on our army. We need five of them. Three, do it. One, I build one here. Damn it. <laughs> Just outside the region. Good job, Lay. That's two. And that unlocks command armies. Unique elite mastering companies. They cost no professionals to do a hire. With special abilities tied to each command. They cost military power instead of crowns to maintain. They look sick. So who's in the coalition against us? Let's look down here. So I can let aggressive expansion burn off as I attack into this area, right? I kind of don't want to go like mental though. What the hell? A mage tower. We don't want that. Binding our mages. No countries in the coalition against the command. That's not happening. Okay, you want to fire the command. This guy again. Okay. Constantly firing my military advisors. I'll upgrade you to a level two. Unrest guy. Our max map is 100,000. Get ready for that. We've got the money. We're not really using it. So I'm just gonna... I can't get a level three, unfortunately. Yearly prestige. Powder crevasse. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Wanted to declare war on them immediately. I'm too caught up in the law. War hobgoblin. So I could do you and promote you, right? So powder crevasse. There you go. Found it. What's the combat with? We have the money for like for the cavalry i don't see why we wouldn't do that go 2010s uh what's our uh we'll go 25s then just because then they can act independently and they inevitably lose um all of their i didn't even check off i didn't, I didn't check our force limit yeah we're fine go for the trust all right let's get rid of all these rebels before i do anything else because otherwise i'm gonna mess up again provoke more rebels take them out so look the sign of the conquered perfect all human provinces gain the following national tax local unrest but also manpower modifier your own camp parts strangely familiar cool do i say it like that cool <laughs> Thunder Fist of Blood Soul have been moved three times. Every time I move them, they'll get better stuff. Uh, I'll wait until I have actual conquered territories to move them so I don't keep losing cause. Time of the boars come. Five, four, uh, and he's been in Bezla. Brilliant. More aggressive expansion reduction would be great. There's 80 trust, pressure allegiance, and perfect. That increases our, our supply and they become a slave state. Because cursed temples, what that does. End the temple's curse. We have to secure the temples to make sure we're not cursed. Dra oh, only secrets. So we can just take their secrets. Brilliant. Uh, but they are, if their liberty desire is less than, what was it? Is a slave state liberty desire less than the subject to command? They are. Are they not a slave state? Why isn't this mission firing? Oh, we need 40 regiments present in their capital. Is that what it wanted? Yeah, but now we have military power. Less Christ, to our legis. We may have to fight them. The coalition be damned, you know? Or not. Take my early moves. What is this how you treat your allies? Is how you repay your loyal servants by torturing them. So we get Karashi secrets until the end of the game and allows the building of Karashi forges. Yeah, we can do it now. Perfect. So why I'd do it, but we can. I think I'm gonna fight it. I know we're outnumbered. Because otherwise, this lot are gonna immediately join the coalition as well. Winning wars increases legitimacy. Okay, and we're gonna need to do that. Like we're we're, we're kind of starving out here. Uh, for legitimacy so i think we're gonna have to take the risk and go for it coalition be damned can slow our progress of course but i've made my bed now it's time for me to line it my idea is i'm gonna focus military power and then use that to promote like strength uh, to increase legitimacy what do you mean people are disloyal war commander unhappy why are you unhappy there you go look special commission all right let's declare this war bear in mind i can't separate peace with these guys i have to be very careful keep all of my armies together remember it's not a coalition war i still need to take the, the bloody provinces i think is it is this the province yes it is don't march into anything please hell of a lot of manpower so we can bleed them okay let's stagger these guys in i'm gonna slight, slightly try hard it that's a lot of troops i just saw 50 000 is that where are they? Yeah, they're all marching eastwards to kill my slaves. All right, let's see if we can't catch a couple of these guys from behind. Get some stack wipes off. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, unless we lose, in which case it's very much in vain. About 100,000 right there. Head back west. Jesus Christ. Our number two to one. Not convenient. Probably should have built a fort there. I know, and it's me talking here. That's how, that's how worried I am about this war. Yeah, they're, they're locked in a way. So we're going to stagger off some guys in. Keep pushing, boys. Pretty happy with how secure the west is. So we're going to push on. Make sure that the capital does not fall. Keep pushing, boys. <laughs> oh, excellent. That stack wipe, brilliant. <laughs> a lot of numbers man okay let's go protect the west because they're definitely gonna come for us don't know who bashingo Bourbon is sure fine yeah these guys kind of got locked in the stats different though it's slightly in our favor they make a good shot of themselves and now they can pull out to here and let's just wait a second to get our manpower back on that lot oh man he's a good advisor take out a loan or two i think we also need these special companies that take military power to keep Oh, get some war command guys in. Sure. Lion command. Let's see what happens. Get those guys. Lion command are up. And it only costs us one. Ooh, command ability. Lion command. Resupply. Found military colony. Or calm the local populace. That's really cool. Good to know that's a thing. Let's put us over our force limits. We are going to be... Time of the lions has come. Okay. He's not as good as his predecessor. Screw it. We don't, if we're cycling, we don't need the aggressive expansion. Let's go full into discipline. Give us 110. We also need better generals. Right, that's going to be a huge battle. If they decide to reinforce. So we've got to reinforce it properly. I think they decided to 
against it. Nice. Then our next guy's in. Excellent. And let's push on a little bit further. That's just incalculable violence here. That's a big army. Let's go chase that down. Nice. That should be an instant stack wipe because we have 10 to 1. Okay, breathe a little bit. Right, we need to go protect the west whilst we siege down the province. The good thing is our enemies are sort of like quite far away. So when they retreat, usually they'll retreat quite far. I don't know what, oh, that's a mountain. Did not mean to do that. Not siege down the mountains, probably. And let's make sure that we can see things. I'm to reinforce this lot. But let's do it. I don't think they're going to sneak through. If we stack correctly, we should win this. There we go. That should be enough. There you go. That's a, that's a huge victory there. Not the time. Unfortunately, a loss. Okay, I'm going to take you. Where is this? The bronze barracks. There's bronze barracks. I'm going to read all these names. There we go. It's over there. If we had better generals, we may stand more of a chance of just destroying these ones but fortunately we do not. It's a lot of red. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of red. How did we kill? 289,000. Our manpower is gone. All right, if we can get a good push going though. I'm going to corner an army here. Oh, just because I was playing on speed five, I wasn't able to stack that properly. Oh Christ, they're reinforcing that. Okay. And there, uh, all of that for five provinces. But we do get a final ruin, which gives until this guy's death, he's 40. We've got a little bit of while in him. Equilibrium. Morale of armies and your elite legitimacy does mean we finish off the campaign. All right, can we resettle you lot over here? There you go. I want to resettle the other one as well. Can't move him. Two, one. More notably tired. Where are the other campaigns? Do I have to own all of it for the campaign to be successful? Oh, Christ. In which case, we've got to be on it when that happens again. But when's the truth? 240. So we've got about 13 years. I might need just to recover. <laughs> well, that didn't last long with the with those bonuses, eh? I don't need to carry favors with you anymore. Let us instead focus on our subject countries. Go and murder that lot, please. Go for construction costs because I think we're going to be sitting around for the next sort of like 10 years or so. London or a master. Given that our rulers scale with how good our uh, generals are, I think offensive ideas is going to be the play. Get them as good as possible, then we have always constantly really good leaders. Now we have a new campaign. Perfect. Dujat, Rakadesh, Gavanaj. Well, Dujat's right here. Rakadesh, even further west. We're going to start touching the Jad. And this one, Gavanaj. Where's Gavanaj? I have no idea where that even is. I kind of want to go against the Shanji. Oh, let's see. Babaji. Okay, this feels like it's a lot more. Barutha Desert. I'm trying to figure out where this thing is. Okay. Babaji Rigan. Rigan. Okay, that's here. So what, where are you then? Maybe I got this one wrong. Palsaris. Um, okay, so I think that's more this group. We'll do this one. Dujak campaign. Damn it. I thought it was going to be claims over here. Coalition wise, no one's in a coalition. Just these guys could all join it. But they can't because they are a proud. Provided this guy doesn't want to join, you probably should. There's a lot of little vast. Interesting. So it looks here like we're going to try and pull our people from the depths because we are hobgoblins. We live under the surface. Pull people from under the depths into new households. So I want to get that done early because for 10 years we get construction time and development cost. So we need this province or barracks or training field. We'll take six. So I guess that'll be for later. We have unlocked this thing here. Start the campaign. It's basically declare war on that, on that lot. Draw the crossing. And that'll finish it. So we're going to revolt here. Pretty sure there's something that will uh, allow for us to... If we have zero unrest everywhere. I'm trying to get that right now. Back tunnels? The black tunnels. Back tunnels. Where are the back tunnels? You need to be at the back. There you go. Thanks to the slave pits. Take a left at the slave pits. Go keep going past. If you go to Gronston, you, 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 uh, you've gone too far. If you go to, if you get to the Jade Fortress, you've gone way too far. You've got to turn back. Go back to the slave pits and find your way again. Four creation costs minus 15%. An empire forged in blood. Now we prepare new stewards. These are, uh, this is related to our lads in the mines. That does get rid of uh, the diplomat for a while. Now we are preparing for the next big war. I think it's 74. Okay, let's stop drilling and let's start getting ready because otherwise there is going to be a bit of a coalition. So there was just a massive war for the Raj. So they're all going to be exhausted. Fingers crossed. Literally a year's time we declare war. Ah, build new households. Perfect. So for 10 years, and we're going to prepare homesteads and then we're going to leave and start hobbling migration for the Jade Mines to the surface. Awesome. So bringing our people out of the mines into a better general. All right, I'm going to pull back my general from now because I really don't want to mess this up. Oh God, I almost forgot. They need to be above 50. Special commission. Or they join a coalition. We need to declare war for like something else. Because I don't think our Castle Valley stretch as far as that. Ah, screw it. Whatever. We've got a massive coalition either way, don't we? Yep, that's not going to burn down anytime soon. So let's just go ahead and declare war on you. Well, I thought you were part of that. Telling me I'm only going to get one province out of this. Or two, pro three provinces. Ooh, half of them didn't join. I don't understand those mechanics. Fine, we'll send 50,000 men west. Declare more wars later. Which means we can exhaust the Raj in this. I was expecting. Start the campaign. Roll the crossing. Yeah, that's not happening. At well, crossing, we probably control this crossing. Because it's 10 limb distance. So we need all three. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, no. 
Oh, I don't know if they come this far. There you go. Nah, we don't let our boys die. But sometimes it's good for them to learn a lesson. I'm trying to be a bit more methodical, uh, just because if I allow them to, they'll, they'll, son of a, <laughs> love misclicking. It's one of my favorite parts of this game. I've got to fire the Grand Captain. Where are you going? Okay, right. Next, next war, I, I build forts. We can afford them. There is no reason why this should be taking place. Having said that, the advantage of not having forts is that the enemy does tend to split up a lot and delve deep into, well, my territory. Doesn't Dorbenhof give like horrible penalties to the attacker? Huge ability, excellent. Now nah, we don't need, I mean, I kinda wanna keep holding my money for now. Grab a discipline guy, like stacking the discipline. Oh, what, I think he's 22? 24, okay, so armies still are of a relevant size. Gotta reinforce a bit more closely. But again, I don't and I don't really wanna lose as much as I lost last time. That's a really nice color. Um, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, down here, where we should push? Wait, where's your capital? Can we get there immediately? Oh, we can. Okay, well, I'll send 25,000 there, 50,000, I suppose. Time of the line has come, 344, four. I'll take that. And now, do we get morale of armies, maybe? No, morale, morale, morale. I really want to check out these stats, and the next battle I will. I think it's probably a good idea. Do you have any allies I want to get rid of? No, not really. Well, with the main Indian state, or it's not Indian, it's based over Indian, but still, you know what I mean? The main Raj, uh, and then I'll come back for him later, just so I can cycle the coalitions. Yeah, okay. Oh, the Jad are gone. Oh, Jexus is in charge. I think, I think Jad died. You got taken over by Mulan? Oh, that's sad. Okay, your uh, Sen Patti, whatever that is. That's kind of what we want. I don't think this gives me a truce with like this lot. I'm just a war with the Raj. Once we take out his capital, he should be inclined to deal with this lot first. And then we'll send 21k over to deal with another K revolt. You got Abyss. I don't like searching for it. I don't know why. There you go. You got Abyss. Oh, such a cool design, man. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I really wanted to live in a cave, like a massive cave system. Then I got scared of caves. I realized how stupid of an idea that is. Gold rush. Nice. We have gold? 35% that should be enough. Yeah, perfect. Gives us the fate of the orange. Oracle. The oracles were said to be wise beyond measure, which is all well and good. I'm seeing slaughter. All right, again, I'll leave you to read this. I'm going to read it now, but we'll cut to my decision. We either slaughter them, chain them, or let them live. I'm going to slaughter them. Why not? Let's resettle them. I think that means that I've, that I've completed the map one. Yes, yeah, so Thunder Fist, I need to move them twice. Now, here's my next idea. Lion Command, I need to give you the special commission, so you'll allow me to declare war, because we might as well go again. The beauty of it is that these people can't join a coalition against me, but I can keep it to them. I didn't fight you, and yet you have a truce with me? That's a, that's that's upsetting that because it automatically calls in the Raja. I can't declare war until I have that that truce done. That's that's mm. right. We get to complete or well, close to completing innovative ideas, giving us five percent discipline. Also, got army uh, drill gain modifier. Oh, I, I moved the thunder fist around a bunch so I could do this. We thought to actually take the mission. Perfect. So when is our truce then, Mr. Raja? 82. 82. Okay, so I think it does a white piece or, yeah, I think it does the equivalent of a white piece with people for like non-belligerents. Gotta be ready in 82. In the meantime, let's see what other missions we can do. Moon Camp is on its way. Tension is less than one. Okay, currently it's 42, it looks like maybe. Ease the tension. Does it go down to 40? Price. Okay, we've got a long way to go with that. Final Goblin Soldier is into a single country. Nice. Look at that. Moving Camp, that's fine. When do we get our Bishery and our map back. 86. Can't convert anything until then. Only side of things. I need to own that province. Okay, can't do that. Centralized exploitation. Five provinces with a workshop or counting account. Oh, I can't need that. Take six. That's coming soon, right? Yeah. Military drills. 10 in Janji with a barracks. Well, I mean, got two provinces or three provinces in Janji, so I can't do that just yet. Evolution warfare, I can't do anything with that. Burn of Empire will have flaws. That's to do with the upcoming things. So I've done every mission that I can get rid of all these rebels first. Keep an eye on this truce. Uh, so it's 8th month, 82. You're leaving the coalition against me. That's a good sign. Means I'm absolutely massive. Probably build another one, but we really do need more manpower. And more at the start of the game than we do now. Oh, yeah, it's because I, I forgave everyone. I think that should be fixed when we leave the... Um, yeah, this point plus five. And I probably should be focusing on Limba because, you know, cannons, which will help me a lot. Uh, did I want to declare war on you? I think I did. Stupid commands. All right, boar, where are you? Special court boar commission. Declare war on you. I have to declare war on everyone else at the same time. Eighth month, right, so four months time. I didn't have any allies. What was I supposed to do? Not fight him? Come on. Our troops are kind of nutty with 125% discipline. 23% discipline. There's a big old truce. Okay, everyone's happy enough for me to declare war. Who's breaking truce? I don't have a truce with him. It does take, yeah, it takes this truce. That sucks. They, like, so they can just decline to not join the war, and then I also just permanently have a truce with them. That's a bit upsetting. 
Well, another 25,000 men. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to scare the coalition into not joining us. Look at that. It's actually worked. Because we can't afford this. We're just rooting our corruption right now. And keep drilling, lads, because that is how we get our manpower. Moving camp. There we go. Start the Hobbit Goblin migration from the Jade Mines to the surface. Newly built camp is one of the busiest places in all the command. Tents are raised, food is distributed, sea spears, and swords are polished off a rough march. Awesome. Camp is a living thing, and as the front line moves, so the wall camp follows in its wake. So what happens now? We're like slowly, like, is that an event based thing? Or do I have to do it myself? Okay, no, I think it's an event based thing. Sweet. Awesome. So if I switch over to the cultures map mode. Oh, this is gonna be cool. You're gonna start to see us migrate southwards. Same thing with religion. I think the idea here is that we leave. No province in the Jade Mines region is Hobgoblin. And then that gets reformed to one nation. And it's just more efficient, I suppose. They're a different kind of goblin to us. This is the thing I really like about the Amber mod. mod. It, like, it's... So EU4 can sometimes get a little bit dull for me because like, okay, you know what's going to happen. Like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to focus on this. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what my country and people and like culture and everything else are doing at the same time as I'm running the nation, which is a really, really cool feeling. Adventure is wanted. So I mean, like just stuff is happening and I'm like suddenly like really intrigued by it. And I hope that comes across on, uh, uh, on camera. Otherwise, it's just going to be me staring going at like <laughs> at, uh, at events and stuff. He's an inspiring leader and a tactical genius. I start trying to get ahead of some missions. 10 provinces and every pro okay, 10 provinces have to have a fort and everywhere there's a goblin warband. A boar warband, I need to have a fort. Okay, so one here. Ah, we got our diplomat back, perfect. Start converting places. Just as my inquisitors died. Ah, perfect. The lion camp takes down its defense with eerie efficiency and marches the perfect base. This is what I mean, like, this is what's kind of lacking in base game of E4, like internal struggles within a nation that make it uh, more dynamic. And this like lion, boar, um, and what's the last one? Lion, boar, and wolf, like dynamic. Each one has their own like distinct feeling and each one takes their turn at the helm is really, really cool. We just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight or so provinces that need to flip over. So there's a lion war camp here. There's the boar war camp here and we need, we need the wolves to come out now. Lions are now in charge. And we have some cannons. I think I'm gonna attach three to each army. Manpower recovery speed and yearly legitimacy. Change it up a little bit. And a couple more now. Go for general education instead of tools of philosophy. There's another war I need to declare and I didn't. I was too focused. <laughs> I need to make sure I fire that bad general. <laughs> Otherwise he may become the leader of our nation. All right, let's fire uh, the other ones as well. Uh, troops in there. All oh, right, I was meant to get a uh, thousand. Well, cannons, but there is that one mission over here that requires it. I don't know what it does though. I have at least 10 artillery in that province. Right, let's keep making our way down this river. It's a very annoying like lot to siege because I feel like if it was just normal, then I, uh, yeah, I would have probably conquered most of this region by now. There's his capital done. Oh, look, he's got 11,000 cannons. Are they fair? Yep, nope, no. Nah. Take 16, mate. Take 16 is where you want combat cannons. <laughs> Up to take 10, it's just like, mm, okay, you could have them or you could not. It's better, obviously, to have them, but they're not that important. All right, I'm just going to take this and no money because... Oh, we can't take money, can we? All right, I'm just going to take this and no money because we can't exactly take any more, so might as well keep the truce down low. Can I shift over the blood song? You know, I want... I put a fort here for a reason. I want the, um... Thunderfist down. None of his hate. Bro, chill. Come on. Not that bad. I'm just forcing you to relocate every few years to suit my, uh... I'm gonna hope that when he caused these provinces, Thunderfist, Thunderfist. So, yeah, if he caused this one, then I should be able to call these two. Otherwise, these are gonna go uncored, which is gonna be very painful. Ah, orcish slaves. It's in spades. Nice. Look at that. Didn't even mean to do that. Ten provinces with a half orcish minority. I've done this. I just need production efficiency of over 30%. Let's check. What is our production efficiency? Is it worth going for that? Because I don't think it... Is uh, yeah, five percent. We need another twenty-five percent. We can get, I think, five percent from an advisor, but otherwise, you need to go for like forty more development, and we can uh, trigger that mission to be an empire. Arrows are uh, moving to the surface, going along. Yeah, just three more. Time to provoke a bunch of revolts. Second, I'm able to. Then get back to drilling. In fact, I could probably drill with two of these. Trace prior that was starting out trouble into to Gyasas, moving about the region, seeking new home from which to spread his mania. Okay, so he's headed here now. So there was a crazed pariah. Nice, okay. He's gone now. Enjoy! <laughs> you deal with him. Well, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna start drilling with everything because these guys are taking ages to rise up. Pike and shot. Focus admin for a little bit. By a little bit, I mean the next 25 years. Uh, because we need to get the next uh, idea group as soon as we can, really. Then, like, this one she had just sort of it came out of nowhere. So I just saw everything else around it. Oh, is that another... I just keep on forgetting that I need to actually keep declaring wars. But it said that I didn't said that I didn't have a truce. Huh, okay, it must have been some of them. Also, to speed things along, I am culturally converting one of these provinces because it said it'd take 31 months. The others would take 310, 310. Uh, I don't know if that messes with the coding. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> I feel like there should be a massive warning sign if uh, that does, in fact, do that. Did you not march into the province? There you go, finally. Now you go back to drilling. That's all we do. 
Take out rebels and then drill. There's another idea set. Start demonstration. I don't need to be seen as an equal. I'll just take them out. I'm not an equal. I'm better. I'm going to go for administrative ideas because that corporation cost will help us a little bit as well as that governing capacity modifier because, well, yeah, we're, we're kind of struggling with that. All right, when's my truce with you again? 5% chance that our guy dies. Culture converted ourselves. Okay, so the Raja's fallen, which gives us a new and someone new I can declare war on, which is good. Let me check this out. So why is the loyalty so low? Yeah, what I was going to say is that uh, this lot aren't under him, or at least they weren't for a second. So I could I could have declared a bunch of wars. Sucks, I can't do that. Going to the pros of the wolf command. And what do you want? You want a, a workshop in our accounting house here. And then we can go about our day. There we go. Okay, that's a great campaign it. Okay, that should do it. There we go. God, where's, where's the mission I just completed? Burdens of Empire. 10 own provinces with a fort and not in the re in our home region of Shemakad. Okay. Cool, okay, so now this is further expansion. Humble Roots cannot hope to anchor the Tree of Stone, not one such as this. The drums of war beat ever on. Never have our peoples been such a sight to behold, yet with that glory comes a great price. Shoulders grow weary and only the tribes may lift the weight off of them. Can three commands truly manage such a feat? So now we're going to start to create the commands that will eventually. Uh, you know what? Let's take the next idea because it's core creation costs first and land makes it modifier. Then we'll go ahead and call. Power level less than 20%. I need to try and drop my manpower level. If I want to declare war, for example, on you. I mean, I don't lose any... Oh, yeah, I do lose stability. I was about to say, if I don't lose stability, I'll take the aggressive expansion. But here's the thing. There are two provinces here that are on this side of the river that's part of this campaign that I have claims on and a couple a little bit beyond that so we'll nip in here who doesn't want to get involved ball command what's wrong with you god I don't know why they're getting harder to manage we're joining coalitions that's fine our troops are exemplary as ever actually we have a lot lower morale than our enemies but our discipline's higher to set my little vassals over to siege come out with the eastern lot there are no forts preventing me from just marching to his capital. There are no forts preventing me to... No, no forts preventing me from doing either. I do want to get out of this as quickly as possible before the coalition grows too large. Siege of Jidao. Hey, we figured out what a coast is. We finally found the sea. Imagine we knew what it was, but uh, still, seeing something in, in the flesh is a little bit different. 50% cheaper advisor. Yes, please. Combat width is now exactly 25, which means we do need to probably turn to 30 widths soon. 30, I'm talking like it's only four. Look at that. That's new. <laughs> Playing it lately, so there's there is that. I kind of want prestige more than money. I right, do have any problem children here. Yeah, the ball command. Just standing around and let me take their nation. I suppose what are they supposed to do? Kind of too many of us. And now we've rendered them diplomatically isolated. So we're able to get I don't think we can get there without taking these provinces. I mean, is there any reason why we shouldn't do this? Rare we get to actually fully conquer a nation or at least get a hundred percent war score, so in a peace deal. So I mean I'm I'm happy to take it. See where we go. New army level of professionalism, which is good. 106% overextension, sure. Not gonna lie, I was hoping that I could uh, concentrate development, but it doesn't seem like that button exists here, which is fun. Means I've just taken 116% overextension. Oh, look at this. I have at least 20 infantry. Manpower building. They probably have that already. With the individual problems. No, uh, they don't have a barracks, unfortunately. Well, we're in for a rough couple of years. Go ahead and provoke these guys. It's what life is going to consist of for the next little while. Or I should stand on the problems that I'm provoking. Otherwise, I'm sort of just defeating the purpose and making the problem worse for me later on down the line. 35. Maybe we can beat that. 35,000. Yeah, lack of manpower, which I don't really want. I think we can avoid that. Really want to have to fight 40,000 hobgoblins. Seem pretty powerful, you know, given that that's my entire army. Okay, there's a lot going on. <laughs> One second. Okay, we have a lot in the capital, and then we also have some lads over there. So let's deal with the capital first, then we'll send some troops up there. You lot drop down here. Okay, there are so many rebels. Uh, okay, let's do these ones first. You go there. Time of the war, three, five, six. Right, we can do the digging in thing, which I will want to do. But I kind of want to complete all these, or get rid of all these rebels first, because my brain can't focus until we do. One thing at a time. We're getting that <laughs> bit by bit. Where are the Kithuri? Okay, they're close by. And you are the Gatsaki. Okay, we've got some guys already there. You are kind of big. We're still second. Who's the, who, who are you? You look cool. <laughs> Yeah, the Jad really went downhill. We were leaving the coalition and our overextension makes me feel comfortable enough to click digging in. In truth, no matter how brutal by the campaign, conquest only marks the beginning of the war that must be waged to rule a territory. The anchors of such warfare are well-constructed and well-readed forts are based for responding to any disturbance. In 20 base manpower costs. At which point we now need to change the diet so that they have 20 construction costs, national rest and development costs for 25 years. And then we can go ahead and click life under the sun as we shift out, which I think is ah, order out of chaos. Oh, 
Right, pacifying that. Well, I kind of already did that. Got the Jade of My Intention down to 20, but that is where we will leave it for today. If you do want to see more of the command, I'm really, really enjoying this, so I'll definitely uh, revisit it. Bear in mind that E4 uh, 1.35 is around the corner, so I probably have one more video in me uh, before the start of all of that. Maybe one or two um, in terms of this so yeah make sure to get your get your votes in early by liking and subscribing uh, it shows me that people want to see more uh we have a lot more of the mission tree to go and we still have that disaster uh where everything will fall apart with this sort of the building phase the crescendo will come so if that's something you're interested in put it in the comments and hopefully we'll get around to it otherwise i do hope you enjoy if you did and i'll see you all next time goodbye huge shout out to my patrons most importantly redguard 76 lewis wright ryan b Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on.